he, he tried to write hits like me, but he wasn't like me. He can't be me. Clear. We're Barbies. You killed me. You killed me. I can't. Come on. Take man. my girlfriend out. No. Calm down. <laughs> Well, it's completed our second Valentine's Day Film Festival. The ideas range from people turning into Barbie dolls, to talking egrets, to plots about spies, um, to spoofs of other modern films, to um, rappers who are competing as far as their fame is concerned. The, um, the plots just range, just cover a, a tremendously wide range of different kinds of um, different kinds of films. Halfway between was a film about this kid. Him and his girlfriend just got done with their date, and they end up having a fight on the way home. And they get into a car wreck, and he has to choose between life and death. He's in between both worlds. The price of fame, James James O. Right. Since uh, he does rap, and we put out like a couple of his CDs already. And I use them in a bunch of my movies. So it would be fun to like make fun of James and like like uh, about his career, how how it would be, and then we just made it funny. This was good. I had I had parties. I had I had parties bigger than Diddy. We just basically tried to make fun of myself because sometimes you have to laugh at yourself. I just wanted to get like music background of the film, but being comedy at the same time just make it like behind the music like how I felt about my music and what goes on if more people were like you this world would be even more chaotic than a lot of the else we are fighting the students level of creativity and level of expertise in the technology of films seem to be increasing as time goes on the car scene which was actually pretty hard to do. It was probably the most complex scene I've ever shot. I actually did some special effects with a smoke machine to make the car look like it was smoking. And we used makeup to actually make it look like they were bleeding and stuff. Now in his golden years, James O is getting his life in order, attending college. Taking the uh, TV three honors and doing the film as two is like, Helping me out with more of the TV production stuff, learning cinematography, continuity, helping me get uh, creative angles and stuff like that is helping me like progress more of my work. So far, I've done four films for the Film Institute. The first one was a comedy, Something Scuba, and ever since then I started working on drama films. I won a first place with This Room's Too Cold. That was my first drama I made. And then my second one was Ice Cream. And then the last one, Halfway Between, was for the f this past film festival. Um, I got second place with it. Hey, you. Throw the rocks. Hey. Where am I? I really wasn't expecting to win because there were a lot other better films, in, in my opinion. And um, it shocked me. At first, I thought we was probably just going to win like third place or even second, but then they called us for first, and that like kind of threw me off, kind of shocked me because there was like probably like a one or two other films that was probably like to me better than us, but I wouldn't probably say better. It was just probably equal, but I just thought they would probably win. Yeah, that <laughs> We've had a very positive response from the film community as well, the Buford Regional. Film Commission is a sponsor of us, as is the Buford County Council for the Arts. We've also had some responses from the South Carolina Council for the Arts as well. Um, so we have lots of people who are very interested in our, in our institute here, and we have a lot of community support as well as tremendous amount of support from the faculty and staff.